Bernoulli's principle says, for an ideal fluid without viscosity, an increase in the speed of the fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential energy. It was published by Swiss scientist Daniel Bernoulli in 1738. Here I have a piece of paper folded into this shape. I'm going to blow air into this region. I want you to predict what will happen to the flaps. Will they open up, stay in place, or get closer? Let's see. The flaps move the closer together, which is not intuitive at all. This can be explained by the Bernoulli's principle. When I blow air through this region, Bernoulli's principle tells us that the faster air in here gives us a lower pressure. The air out there is slower, so the pressure is higher. The pressure difference inside and out creates forces to push the flaps closer. The closing of the flaps when air is blown into the gap is not intuitive at all because we're thinking that air is blown into the gap. However, what really happens is that air is blown through the gap. Let's consider this flow of fluid. According to the equation of continuity, we know that the fluid must speed up when it enters a more constricted region. This means uh, there must be a net force uh, to the right acting on this part of the fluid. This means the pressure on the two sides must not be equal. Since the net force goes to the right, the pressure on the left side must be higher than the pressure on the right side, where the fluid speed is higher. You may have had this kind of experience. Let's say you are traveling in a car on a high-speed road. You happen to encounter a big truck passing you in the opposite direction. Would you notice any force on your car? When two vehicles traveling in opposite directions at a high speed next to each other, the air speed would be very high between the two vehicles. So the pressure in between would be low and the pressure out here is high. This pressure difference would push your car towards the truck. So you would feel your car getting pushed toward the truck for the brief moment when the truck is next to your car. So a person should not get too close to, say, a fast moving train because a pressure difference like this may create enough force to push the person into that moving train. Let's look at one more demonstration. I have a funnel here with tubing connected to a compressor. When I push this trigger down, air will blow into the top of the funnel and go downward. I'm going to let go of the ping-pong ball at the opening of the funnel. Why doesn't the ball fall even though air is being blown downward on it? The air flows down the stem of the funnel and around the ping-pong ball. We get faster flow above and the slower flow below. So the pressure is higher where the speed is slower and the pressure is high lower where the speed is higher. The pressure difference provides an upward force that keeps the ball from falling down. Now I flip the funnel upside down and I'm blowing air upward into the stem. The light ball does not get blown and go upward because the slow air above it 